Okay, let's get started. So um, these um, set of videos here are on, online in lieu of the fact that I'll be missing lecture for the next uh, few, few days. So uh, what I want to do today, this will be walking you through the, um, tell you a little bit about the package called Homer and how to install it, and how to get started on it, where the resources are for it. So um, this is a, a package that was developed by the National Renewable Energy Lab in the early 2000s, uh, and then in 2005, it transitioned to a commercial product. So the, the, the product um, up until 2005, it's called Legacy Homer, and it's still available to us for free, and that's what we'll be using. Uh, so um, the purpose of Homer is to optimize a, an energy, um, an electrical grid uh, for various, um, renewable, mostly renewable energy, but various energy sources, various generators, generation capacity. So as we go through this, you'll see some things that are similar to what we've already seen, and we'll see some new stuff as well. Um, but it's, it's, it's generally standalone. In other words, it's off the commercial grid. So this is used a lot in you know, undeveloped countries and island nations or you know, military bases that you want to be removed from the grid. Um, but it really gives you a good sense of what it takes to put all this together. So I think, I think we're going to find it very interesting. So, um, so step one is, of course, install Homer. So I've just uploaded to Blackboard um, the, the install file itself. And it's under Supplemental Materials, folders called Homer Materials, so pretty straightforward. Um, the file is this zip file, um, 268beta.zip, pretty small. Um, you can download it, open it, and install. It should just install just fine. Um, but, I, you know, it's hard for me to know exactly what your environment's like. I've had Homer on some of my other computers, so I don't know whether it's picking up something I've already done, a cookie or some files already installed. Um, so if you have any trouble installing it, particularly if it's asking you for a password or some registration code, um, then I guess what you're going to have to do is go to homerenergy.com. So here's the link right here. Um, and, and don't go to Homer 2. That's the commercial package. You, get, you go, have to click the download, and then it's going to ask you to register, and then, and then, you'll go to, then you can choose the legacy file for free. Um, that's the one we want. Um, it's not tough to, to, to register, um, but, uh, but hopefully you could just take it. I downloaded it for you. You should be able to install it. You should be able to run it on your computer for 180 days for six months. Um, and the only way to keep the only thing you have to do to keep it going is to fill out a survey, and, and it's a perpetual license, so no big deal. So once you get it running, it should look like this. This should be your screenshot. Um, what is what's running? I'll tell you what it looks like in a minute. Um, but if that doesn't work, um, and like I said, you're going to have to go ahead and, and go to homerenergy.com. Follow the, the sources. I'm sure you've downloaded and registered before. Doesn't don't need a credit card. Don't need anything like that. Um, and, uh, and it's a legitimate site. I get, you know, one email every three months for it. So of all the spam I get, that's the least, uh, one of the least um, annoying ones. Um, so so um, that's for, I'm going to leave it at that. That's the first video. Get to that point. Install it. Um, if you're tearing your hair out and it's not working, send me an email. Drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. And we'll see if we can figure it out. Um, so that's it. Talk to you soon.